All right, this video, I'm going to talk about how to identify a function from a table. In the last video I made, it was identifying a function from a graph. So let's look at, let's quickly review the three types of graphs that you should, um, the three types of functions and what their graphs look like. So I'm going to make three graphs here. There we go. So the most basic one is the linear. So there's a linear. She just makes a line, linear line. The next one is a quadratic. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> mm. Linear, quadratic. Quadratics are going to make parabolas, which are U's. They can also be upside down. And the final one is exponential which usually does something like that or something like that, exponential. Oh, you can't see it. Exponential. Now, so here's a table. And I have a poster in my classroom. I just made it yesterday, and it, I'm reading it. It says grit, tenacity, perseverance. These are great words. And do you have it? Do you have grit? Because these problems are doable even without, I guess, some of the insights I'm about to give you. This is a table of X's and Y's. You could get out a piece of graph paper and plot these. And you could look at it and go, oh, it's a line, oh, it's a quadratic, oh, it's an exponential. So at a bare minimum, you could plot these points and look at the graph and determine what is going on. Yes? Video's over, right? Two minutes, done. Go to your work. Well, I'm going to give you some insights. But even without my insights, if you have grit, determination, and tenacity, if you can just stick to something, stick to itiveness, you can do this. Maybe not quickly, but it's not about quickness. It's like the story of the, what, tortoise and the hare. Okay, I'm talking too much. Here we go. Here's my first one. Let me zoom in a little bit on it. Negative 10, negative 9, negative 8, negative 7, negative 6. So this is going up by what's going on here each time, right? It's going plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. So plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. This is just going at a constant change, constant change. What's going on over here? Well, this is doing what? Is that a minus, minus 8? Minus 8. Minus 8, minus 8, minus 8. If both sides are constant, it's a linear, right? This is a constant change, a constant change. So this is a linear. So constant on both sides. So I have a constant change on both x and y. This would graph as a linear function. Well, let's look at another one. OK, well, I see that constant change on x. It's going up by 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. But what's going on here? Right here it goes 6. And right here it goes 12. And right here it's going 24, probably 48. Well, this looks like it's doing more of a, a doubling type of thing. So I don't have the constant difference here, this constant change. What I do see here, though, is what if I went 6 divided by 12? Well, that's a half. And 12 divided by 24, that's also a half. And 48 divided by 96. What I have here is a doubling or a constant, what is it? Or, um, it's got to be a better. Oh, geometric progressions versus arithmetic. It's a constant ratio. So the ratio is constant. So 
So if you see this nice kind of doubling thing, then you're looking at an exponential. Exponentials. So when you're looking at doubling, tripling, which I can't spell, tripling. I just spelled tripling and not tripling. Okay, triple, trip, tripling. Okay, pretty crummy handwriting today. And then the last one, <clears throat> now this guy's going to be a quadratic. What's going on here? From 28 to 63, negative 28. I'm using a calculator, yep. So right here, that's a negative 35. From here to here is a 49. Ugh. And from there to there is a, let's see, 175, is a 63. I mean, wow. Ugh. I, what is, it's definitely not linear. It's not doing any type of doubling, so it's not an exponential. So what is this? Well, my process of elimination, or it's probably a quadratic, but look at this. Watch this. I'm going to go even deeper into this. I'm going to dig kind of into a, a deeper level and watch what happens here. 35 and 49. 14. 49 and 63. 14. If I dig into another level of differences, I start getting this constant thing. So this is a quadratic. And once again, grit, tenacity, perseverance. If you just graph these things, you could get it. Thanks for watching.